official song. Semper Su the Space Force now has its official song. Semper Supra was revealed in front of a crowd at the 2022 Air and Space Force Association Air, Space, and Cyber Conference in Maryland. Asked about the song in a media roundtable, Air Force Chief of Staff General Charles Q. Brown Jr. gave the song a compliment. I'm not going to judge the song, but I'm also kind of biased towards the Air Force song because I'm the United States Air Force. So uh, I'm, I'm not going to judge the uh, song. I'll let the, the uh, you know, the rest of us uh, judge the song. And I'm sure it'll grow on us as well yeah, over time. Take a listen to the song. I'd like to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who are land is true from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations unto the hopefully elect. And today I just want to go into, you know, the video that I featured in the beginning. You know, the so called Space Force, you know, has their own, you know, anthem, so to speak. You know, so I'm just going to bring out a couple of scriptures. Lord willing, this lesson is at a fine straight to the point. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, and verse 13. It says, For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of Yahweh. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness, and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not the house of the prisoners? All the kings of the nations, even all of them lying in glory, every one in his own house. Yes, pretty much, you know, he saw Edom, the so-called white man. That's pretty much what he's doing, you know. That's pretty much what he's saying in his heart, you know, that he is like the most high, you know, because he has, you know, his so-called space force, his satellites, you know, the international space stations, he has these things, you know, up in the heavens. <clears throat> because ultimately, you know, he wants to be like the Most High. Hence the reason why he has these things up there. Because he wants to pretty much watch and control everyone. But he can't. And he's going to be brought down, you know. And the word hell is simply a condition, you know, a lower state, you know. Because when our Lord Rahat, when our Lord Yahweh Shah returns, you know, he's pretty much going to take down Esau, Edom, and all the other nations with him, you know. And when Esau Edom is taken down, the other nations, you know, are going to look at him. And pretty much that's what they're going to say, you know, is this the man that pretty much destroyed the earth? You know, that made the earth a wilderness, you know. The other nations are going to be angry, you know, because once the nation of Israel is risen up yet again and put back in power, you know, the other nations are going to be in subjection to us, you know, they're going to be in captivity for a thousand years. But after that thousand years, you know, they're pretty much going to be able to, you know, live. But Esau eat them, you know. Once he serves his thousand year captivity, he's going to be, you know, done away with. He's going to be destroyed, you know, because of the wickedness that he's pretty much done in the earth. And this being one of those things, you know, 
This is him saying that he is like the most high. This is him exalting his throne above the heavens. You know, with this international or with the so-called space force, you know. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakwadash. I'd like to give double honors unto the apostles and the artists of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations unto the hopefully elect. Till the next time I say Shalom.